Okay, so how do you get the perimeter of this irregular shape with some unknown measurements? So let's look at this one on the left here first, all right? So we have this shape and let's count how many sides we have to this shape first. So we have, let's start from here with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight lengths that I have to know in order to get the perimeter. Is there any I can tell straight away from looking what I already have? Well, I can. This one over here, I know this one. Let's do the ones I'm figuring out, say, in red. This length here is the same as this length here. So this must be also 8 centimeters. Now, this length here must be 4 centimeters because it's a, across from this one. Now, these ones seem very hard to get. I don't know these ones. So, so let's call this length A and this length B. This let's see. Now I don't need to do this, but just to help you understand, I can't find out A, B, and C. But what I do know is looking at the bottom, I know that A plus B plus C is actually equivalent to that 10 centimeter all the, along the bottom because this length plus this length plus this length, if you like, if I brought this B line up to here, that would be the same as this one length of 10 centimeters. So while I don't know what A, B, and C are individually, I know they all add up to give 10 centimeters. So if I start from this eight centimeters here to get the perimeter, let's go with eight, that's this one done, plus 10, this one done, plus another eight, that one done. Now I don't know C, and I don't know B, and I don't know A yet, but I have these other two fours, plus this four, plus this four. What am I left with? I'm left with A, B, and C, but I actually know that A plus B plus C is equal to 10, so I can cross the three of these off and put in 10. Let's add all these together. Eight plus 10, 18, plus another eight, 26, and four is 30, and four is 34, and 10 is 44 centimeters. So even though I only had three measurements to start off with, I actually could figure out the answer. Here's one for you to try here. So I only have three lengths. So if you'd like to pause the video quickly and try this one. Now, so hopefully you've had a go at this and now I'll fill out what I think the answer is. So we know this one here, this length must be eight centimeters. Well, first off, let's count the sides actually. So we've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, we have eight sides here. So I have nine centimeters here. So this eight across from here, we know, we can figure out. We can also figure out looking this way that this is two. Now, what can't we figure out? We can't figure out this one. We can't figure out this one and we can't figure out this one. But hopefully you can see that this now A, B and C, they are equivalent to the long length across the top, which is nine centimeters. So adding all my lengths that I know together, so I have nine plus the two plus the eight plus the other eight plus the other two plus then my A, B and C. Okay. So we actually know now that A, B, and C is equivalent to nine centimeters. This is like a nine. So if you like, I have nine plus two plus eight plus eight plus two plus nine. So both of these make 10, so that's 20, and looks like to be 18. So it looks to be 38 when you add all those together. Hopefully you got that.